How can you have gas pressure without a container to enter an area they call space to look back at Earth? Just get off the Earth like in a helicopter. You got Neil deGrasse Tyson saying the Earth moved, and that's why the field goal went in. And you got them saying snipers have to adjust for the bullet once it leaves the barrel because the Earth is turning underneath The it. assertion is Coriolis effect, and that's the assertion that we're on a non-inertial spinning reference frame turning beneath something that isn't turning, like you on a roundabout looking at a tree. That's the assertion that you're the roundabout on Earth turning beneath the tree, seeing it seem to move when you turning underneath the tree. Well, that would be an effect that they assert when they say the ball drifted through the goal because the Earth turned beneath it. So as you watch the ball, it looked like it curved through the goal, but it was really just Earth turning beneath it. Or snipers have to track their target because it's claimed Earth will turn beneath the bullet after it leaves the barrel of the gun. So you've got to account for that because Earth's going to turn underneath the bullet. Or Earth turns underneath the gyroscope at 15 degrees an hour and you observe it drifting in its cage because Earth's turning beneath the fixed frame of a spinning gyro. Or Earth's turning beneath a swinging pendulum and is drifting to knock over some dominoes around it in a circle because it's claimed Earth's turning underneath the back and forth motion of the pendulum. Those are all claims of Coriolis effect that assert Earth's turning beneath things. Well, then it would turn beneath helicopters, aeroplanes, hot air balloons, you if you jumped up and down, you'd notice. But they assert it with things that stay in the air for a couple of seconds. So the paradox comes when you say, okay, you're asserting that Earth turns underneath the football when it's kicked from the field and goes through the goal. It appears to curve because the ground turned beneath it. What about the blimp that's filming the game? The Earth's not turning beneath that now, is it? And it's in the air for a substantial period of time. So you're not observing the drift in the blimp, but you are observing the drift in the ball. You can't have it both ways. And their answer is to detail what the blimp does. It's like, Coriolis, your effect of things drifting because you're turning beneath them is observed as you turn beneath them. It's got nothing to do with what the blimp does and everything to do with you turning beneath observing stuff as you turn. So don't now tell me what the drift of the actual occurrence in the blimp is because there isn't one. It's not drifting. Earth's not turning beneath it. It's not drifting away from the stadium at 15 degrees an hour for you to observe it seem to drift like you're claiming the ball does. So we don't have drift. Flight times when travelling west would be shortened. So, for example, a flight from Charlotte, North Carolina to LA would take about an hour and a half because Earth would be turning beneath it. For you on the ground to see it seem to drift, that's Coriolis effect. Well, for that effect to actually happen, you've got to have Earth turning underneath aeroplanes for there to be drift to observe from the ground. There isn't. The flight takes about four and a half hours. Because Earth's not turning beneath it. If anything, the flight gets shorter when travelling east. Definitely not got the Earth turning beneath it, as is claimed with the football, the bullet, the pendulum, the gyro. 